Welcome back to ITNs. So I hope you were able to get along with the uh, with the last session most importantly that was on teratypes uh, and um, also the previous sessions uh, on Python, right? So if you if you're building your basics and concepts, uh, I really uh, appreciate your uh, motivation and concentration in making this as a success. So great. Uh, Okay, so in this session, we are going to talk about, we, we will be starting something on new about loops. So we are going to talk about uh, how loops are used in Python. Uh, we will be starting with if and else loops. So stay tuned um, and I'll see you in the class. Yeah, thank you. Welcome back guys. In this session we are going to talk about conditional branching okay? or we, uh, in some terms we, it is also referred to as controlled flow. Okay? So uh, conditional branching or controlled flow is, is you can consider that it is an extension to logical operators where decision making is required when we want to execute a code only if a particular condition is satisfied. Okay? So, in this session, we are going to uh, touch base on if, elif, and else statement. Okay. Now, um, before we go start with the examples, and before I start, uh, I mean, showing you how it works, uh, let's relate. I mean, how it actually programming code works with our day-to-day -day lives, right? For example, if I have to go for shopping, right? I go to a shopping only if a particular condition is met. Or else what so for example I'll go to shopping if I get a car at my doorstep if not then I'll stay at home and watch TV yeah so it's not simple it's that simple in uh, Python as also so it's not a uh, rocket science as such okay so let's start with some examples okay um, All right. Uh, for ease um, of the um, time and uh, to um, reduce time on, I mean the codes uh, to uh, to reduce the time. All right. To reduce the time to write the codes, uh, I've actually pre-typed it so that uh, saves time for us. Yeah. So I've written like this. Um, I this is a program to compare two numbers, two integers, basically. Yeah. So what we are doing is we are going to um, we are writing uh, the statement as print, and then this is the line write a program to compare two integers, correct? And this is what is going to be the uh, what is going to be printed on the screen, correct? Okay. Now what what next? Next x is equals to input, and then input age of niche, okay? So what happens now? Actually, as you can see, we have introduced a, a new, um, new um, coding um, terminology as, as such by <coughs> by asking a user to input a number. So what happens here is when we put uh, put this particular key, correct? X equals to input. That is a function, right? So input function, and then in the bracket it says input age of niche. And then um, colon and space. So what happens with that is, as soon as this line is executed, what happens is, it will be the cursor will wait for um, for a user to provide the required number. Okay, and once the number is done, then it moves to the next line, where actually it is converted to an integer value. Okay, so then uh, this is with the first number. And then we have to do the same thing for the second number. Well, y is equals to input, input age of 9. And then uh, conversion of y is equals to int y. Alright? Fair enough. Now, next is our if statement. So if x is greater than y, colon, 
right and then as soon as i hit colon and enter as you can see my cursor is like indented it has come to at uh, this level right so okay so then what happens is it will execute this command okay print nish is elder to 9 okay so if x is greater than y it will print nish is elder to 9 and if x is not greater than y it will exit and it will print it will actually not execute this line it will execute this line thank you okay let's have a look okay um so before i run the command let me introduce to some of the concepts of ideal uh, so what i can do what i've done is uh, this is my uh, main ideal window or shell power, uh, python shell so what i've done is i've done file open and then um, i've uh, provided the location of the projects that i want to um, create my python file and i've uh, i mean i've now created this file right so i've already done that and once you done do it it will actually open this sort of a uh, empty box it will be like this Control x it will be like this and then you can start your codes here okay and then once you're done with your code then what you can do is you can click click on run and click on run module or f5 f5 is the shortcut on your keyboard for running the uh, module okay so for now what i'll do is i'll click on run module and um, we'll also see if uh, this code is making sense uh, or if it is actually solving the purpose and if not then what is the uh, improvisation we can do to get the desired output yeah so we are going to improvise it um, as and when required uh, for the codes here yeah? okay for now let's click on run module yeah it's asking me to click on save and i click on save as soon as it is done it actually opens the shell right uh, now as, as we saw in this statement okay print write a program to compare two integers and it is given the output as write a program to compare two integers fair enough right then it has come to the next line it is executed the next line input age of niche and uh, it is waiting for input okay i type 90 and i hit enter okay till now uh, before i mean it was waiting for the input here and uh, it didn't uh, go to the next uh, line of code uh, it was as soon as i hit uh, gave the key uh, 90 and uh, then um, hit enter it came to the next line of code so in between what has done is it has taken the value as 90 and it is converted to integer value and it is stored into variable x okay right same with y now it's asking for age of 9 so we'll put as 45 hit enter again the same yeah now if x is greater than y if x is greater than y that means um, Nish is elder to nine, right? Because Nish is ninety years age and nine is forty-five. So Nish is elder to nine. So it will give a printout as Nish is elder to nine. Thank you. Right? So it works, right? Now what happens if uh, because this particular code worked because we assumed that Nish is always going to be elder or uh, the number which uh, user is going to put first is always going to be bigger, right? and the number of which user is going to put second is always going to be uh, lesser but it might not work out right uh, it might not be always true correct let's see with an example okay I, i'm going to press f5 to execute the code and as you can see uh, it has come back again and now this time i'm going to reverse so age of niche is 45 age of 9 is 90 i hit enter it came out thank you so it is not executed since um, so this particular part of code will be executed only if x is greater than y right if x is not greater than y this part of code was skipped correct and came to a next line that is print thank you right so how can we how can we improvise this code uh, i mean because it could happen that 
y is greater than x or x is smaller than uh, y so in that case what happens okay so for that what we'll have to do is we'll have to write another line that is if x less than y uh, colon as you can see it is as soon as I hit colon uh, and enter it actually indents and comes to uh, this place print nan is elder to nish and close back right now let's see if this works here so as soon as I hit uh, f5 it is going to ask uh, for saving uh, to save the program so let's look so it says do you want to save the program I say click on ok and as soon as I do it it comes to the shell python shell ok great now let's see I mean let's run the same example 45 90 what happens then is elder right now with the same uh, with the small improvisation we have we are now able to get the output right okay now what if um, if both the number are equal okay um, so I mean till now we were, we, we were assuming that um, both uh, will be one of them will be either um, bigger and one of them will be smaller but what if if it is both the numbers are going to be equal I mean similar right so what what um, I mean can I write this sort of code x uh, equal equal y print both are equal will that work yeah uh, just small note guys here we are putting x equal equal y so it is like a comparison um, uh, operator right it's not x equals to y it's not assignment operator yeah so just keep a note of it okay okay so now let's execute this code okay so again it is asking for if I want to um, click on save click on ok and yes now 45 45 what happens both are equal right yeah now um, let me go back and show you that example again so if I comment this line okay that means I don't want to execute this line okay and hash okay um, from uh, f5 I click on ok right and now if I put 45 45 it would have come thank you but since I have added that additional piece of code it is able to make um, the comparison and find out okay those two numbers are equal and yeah I mean and then it is um, ready to execute the next part yeah all right um, now this looks good right okay but do you think um, it actually gives us the result what we we are looking for right but do you think guys that it is a efficient way of writing a code uh, because when we are going to write this code right uh, so when we are going to input two numbers okay what happens is it comes to this this line it checks here um, executes this part okay even if the condition here is met it will still come here execute this part and then again it will come here execute this part and then finally uh, print thank you right so why can't we have a situation when if a first line uh, if the condition is met here itself it should directly print thank you right instead of uh, executing these two lines right um, the advantage is two things one it will be lesser um, uh, CPU utilization um, because you don't have to uh, go to the execution cycle again and again um, and secondly it will uh, look uh, nicer the code will look uh, more readable right so yes of course it will not be much uh, the CPU cycles might not be utilized much uh, with these lines of code with uh, but 
consider an example when you're writing a program a complicated program which has hundreds or thousands of lines right uh, which happens for I mean uh, if you want to do something for uh, machine learning or AI you'll have to write codes uh, for with multiple lines right and then all these sort of things can cause performance issues right and uh, all these small things actually can impact um, or delay the output right so to avoid this we should be writing the code in the smart way right um, and that's that's what we want to achieve right we have want to start from the basic and then we want to uh, go to a pro correct okay so let's look how we can um, get the code to a better level right okay so if uh, I mean so if X is greater than Y then we will print uh, is L2 name okay and then l if l if is short of else if okay l if print name is l to nish right else print both are equal so do you see the difference okay um, first we have said L if X is greater than Y Nish is L to N L if that is short of L save X is less than um, Y then print N is elder else print both are equal okay and then um, thank you so what happens is uh, what happens in this is we are executing the first line okay and then uh, if that condition means then it will actually uh, skip to the next line okay let's have a look and yes I click on ok to save it and let's give an example say 45 and 45 both are equal correct um, let's go back function f5 and 90 45 Nish is elder to nine, right? Let's go back and then F five and then um, forty five and ninety. All right. So now uh, we can see nine is elder to Nish, right? So the code which we have done today, I mean, uh, let me go back to the code. Uh, so this is the code, right? Okay. So in this example, what we have seen is we are assuming that both the inputs given by the user is numbers, right? So what happens if the user uh, wants to have some um, some uh, logical operation using strings? Will this work? Will this code work? No, right? right um, but yes it will work for numbers but not for uh, strings correct yes uh, don't worry uh, we are going to cover that part also in the coming sessions but um, for now I mean um, I think we have covered quite a bit uh, to understand um, if elif and um, else statements uh, in the Python language and uh, I would actually uh, ask you to uh, keep practicing and um, if in case if you are having some issues you can uh, go back to the lecture and uh, start over again or uh, you can post a comment on the um, on the channel and I'll get back to you or with the answers right okay great um, I think we are uh, we're done for now um, so guys uh, stay tuned by clicking on the subscribe icon and get updates to the uploaded videos uh, as in when they're getting uploaded by clicking on bell icon alright keep watching and keep learning thank you until next time